The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the May 11th wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, TV Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life happens for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we get to go look at the circumstance of the bulls and the bears, the buyers and the sellers. We're going to go figure out what they're communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence, but more importantly, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on in. We'd love to hear from you. Call us at 877-927-6648. Of course, internationally, 727-445-1044. That's how you get in touch with us, of course, inside the Tiger's Den. You can instant message me and send me an email, although my email system is down just for a bit. A little bit of maintenance on the system, but I should be able to grab it off of my uh, phone. I'll do the best that I can. So calling might be the easiest way to do that today. So let's go ahead and get started on this wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we have the Dow trading down 132 points at 17,796. S&P off nine at 2075. NASDAQ composite down 16 points. At 4793. Russell 2000 down five points. She's trading 1123. The DAX closed down 70. The FTSE up five. Gold is up $10. She's trading at 1275. Silver's up 25 cents, trading at 1734. Light sweet crude up a dollar thirty-eight, trading out at 4605. Lead the charge here to the upside. We've got Amazon. That's up another $13 today. 716 buckaroonies. That's up nearly 2%. You've got Cabco Industries up 9%, $8. Electronic Arts EA up 12%, $7.87. Uh, Abel Marl. Alba Marl. How the heck do you pronounce that? Alba Marl. I suppose that Marley. I don't know. It's up 11%. It's ALB as a ticker symbol out there. I'll let you figure out how to pronounce that. Tesla Motors. Up 2.5%, up $5. To the downside, Coca-Cola bottling company down 20 bucks off 12%. AutoZone down about $14, nearly 2%. Fossil Group, that stock, stock chart does not look good. 28% to the downside, $11 and change. Simon Property Group off about uh, nearly $9 here. So plenty for us to look at. But the first question that should be on your mind or my mind is, hey, what are the markets doing right now? So let's try to go figure that out. Let's look at the, uh, let's look for some signals here. Now, the signal that popped up on my screen about um, an hour ago that we're really going to watch, let me just put up here. It's, a, it's really coming from the two hour chart, two hour time frame chart. Now, what you and I are looking at, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, you see the ES mini, that's in the upper quadrant, the other th upper third of uh, my screen out here. The center is the uh, NASDAQ, and the bottom, is the uh, Dow. Now, the chart here, as you take a look at this, which of those three quadrants, quadrant, it can't be a quadrant, it's, a, it's, a, it's three charts out here, quadrant after be four. What do you call a, th a, three, uh, a three chart like this? Which of these, uh, what, what do you call that, by the way? They some, teach me something. Let's just say which of these three panels here, for lack of a better description, is the one that you and I are the one that are the most concerned with. You're right, Johnny. It is door number two. It is the NASDAQ 120-minute chart out here. Now, why is it that we're concerned? Well, you know, the bottom that came in on Friday, we know that price was moving lower, doing it with less relative weakness, gave us a nice bullish reversal signal. It did it both in the, well, did it in the ES, did it in the NQ, did it in the Dow, the YM out there, and 
the candlesticks that were formed that created that bottom were key reversal sessions out here. And that's exactly what we have that is right now going on inside of the NQ as we speak. But let's come back to that because we've got a caller on the line. We've got our man Garo in California. Garo, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this morning? I'm very good, sir. How about you? I am doing uh, very well. And your favorite stock uh, to be one of them is uh, Visa, which now, folks, just if you haven't heard Garo before, and Garo's a great trader out here, and he has a intuitive belief, so it's one that we should all pay attention to, that uh, Visa is going to double or triple in what period of time? Double until end of this year. Till the end of this year, so folks, this is a stock trading around seventy-seven bucks or so right now, and uh, we've got we've got we've got a good call out here, so uh, around one hundred and forty-four. But it's not yet. I don't believe it's yet to your buy point, is it? No, sir. Uh, that's why I called you uh, to to confirm with you. My buy point is seventy-nine dollars and sixty-three cents. Seventy-nine sixty-three. So uh, seventy-nine. Yeah, that's where it's going to go bull, and from there it's going to go and hit the top. The minimum, minimum is going to go hit 81.60, and after that, I don't know what's going to happen. If it's going to go at a higher high or it's going to go flat there. Yes. Now that 79 and change figure that you gave me is that your is that your parabolic SAR dot? Yes, sir. It is. Okay. So so ours, folks, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, uh, and I don't know what is the uh, difference here, but we're close enough. Uh, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, you'll see that there's a little blue dot here that uh, represents the uh, parabar parabolic SAR tool uh, created by Wells Weiler. So he's got a great set of tools out there that, that you certainly should familiarize yourself with. On my chart, if you're watching us, you'll see in the data panel on the bottom right, you'll see that it says that right now it's priced at 79.46. So whether it's 79.46 or 79, I think you said 63, maybe something like that. Uh, uh, 63, yes, 79, 63. 63. But, yes. but uh, uh, Steve, this is today's value. Tomorrow... Sure. This is going to be shorter. Maybe tomorrow is going to be 79.40 or 79.20. I don't know what's going on. Every day that number changes because every day is going to create a, a different dot. And Absolutely. then you follow that. Once that candle hits that dot and the dot comes down, that's where you get in. Got it. Yeah, absolutely. And then that, that's his, that's a trading strategy uh, that he yeah. teaches out there. And so, you know, today what we've seen here inside of uh, inside of Visa, and I have no idea why I've got no volume on this chart here. I did have to totally reboot the system. So let me just add that. I just was curious as to what this is pulling back with uh, today. So give me one moment to uh, take a look at it. And... Uh, okay. Go ahead. Today is dividend. Today was a dividend day that it was 14 cents a share, and the, today was the, uh, the, 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 the quarterly dividend that they Got had it. to pay. And, yeah, that is expected date, and pay date is today. Got it. Okay, okay, that's great. Yes, so thanks for thanks for that info. And you know, as yeah. we take a look at the uh, pullback here, here's one thing that you and I know, each of us know right now, is that over the course of the last couple of days, as Visa was moving up, it was moving up into the uh, date that this had gapped down, which was on April 22nd. And when that thing had moved down off of its highs, it did it with 18 million shares. Now, yesterday, as it was moving up to test the top of that gap, folks, which is priced at 79.36, the actual high yesterday was 78.40, no, the uh, 79.33. Uh, it did it with, I don't know why I'm hearing music here. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Say, hey, Garo, my apology for that. I wasn't paying attention to my uh, clock uh, for the exit into the commercial, uh, oftentimes in uh, broadcasting known as a brain fart, which means I really no stunk and no didn't pay attention, paying attention to that clock. So we're taking a look at uh, Visa folks out here. And uh, today, uh, this thing is pulling back with, you know, what appears to be some light volume, about 4.3 million shares. We know that it's got some real resistance. So Garo's looking to go ahead and enter this potentially at the uh, next the next time that Visa, you know, at least uh, hits or closes above its parabol parabolic SAR dot. On my system, that's priced at 79.46. Now, the other nice thing about that level is that it also happens to be the bottom of its current daily market profile, and that's priced at 79.28. So, you know, that uh, and strong resistance. There's no question. If you can break above strong resistance, folks, which means that gap down from April 22nd, then strong resistance ought to be support. So that's a key level to be watching. That is the uh, gap that is out there, um, you know, and that's the only thing to really be afraid of out here is that little downdraft from April 22nd. Now, this could very well pull back to the bottom of its uh, TAS market profile. That's also the last time where there was a, a gap to the upside, and that was on the trading day of March 29th, girl, and that had 10.5 million shares. Um, so that may be for others looking to buy uh, the breakout of this. That is where the last breakout occurred inside of uh, visa but uh you know look i'm i'm pulling for you and i'm pulling for you i'd like to i want to get in on this trade here that's going to double are you kidding <laughs> Uh, uh, Mr. Steve, let me tell you something. Maybe that doesn't go up tomorrow or the after tomorrow. Maybe Visa will come down and again it hit uh, what was the low of the uh, uh, that date, uh, 5 4 uh, 76.53. Maybe it will hit one more time there and again will curve up and go up. But once that candle hits that dot, uh, then from there it will shoot up. Uh, yeah. You see, uh, the same thing with MasterCard. Or on a MasterCard, the number is 98.56, and for American Express, is 66.17. That these numbers are for today. These values are for today. Tomorrow no, will be, uh, yeah, yeah. But today, you see, Spider, it hit that uh, 
it hit the candle. But it didn't go up. The reason is that that five-day simple mover, moving average still is below that candle. Either the candle has to come and hit that five-day moving average. The, the value of a spider should come be 206.39, and from there it should go up, or it should hover here for a couple of days, and this spider will shoot either tomorrow or day after tomorrow, like a rocket. Like a well, rocket. Let, let's, it, let's write this one down and then we'll see what either spider will go up tomorrow or day after tomorrow, at least two, three dollars. Sure. Now, in the case of the spider, since you brought that up, um, yes. so, you know, I can see yesterday where on my system yesterday, the SAR value was 20850 and the actual high was 20850. I mean, right to the tick out here. Uh, yes. It closed back just by about a nickel, so it came back by a nickel. But in your use of, of this great tool out here, it just has to hit the dot. It doesn't have to close over the dot? Yes, sir. Okay. And and yes. today, folks, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, you'll see that a, a new parabolic SAR dot appeared, and it is now down below the low. It's down at a price point yes. of 203.88. Now, in essence, if somebody went long yesterday, that would uh, be, if you're just using the parabolic SAR, that would be your stop out level. Is that correct, Carl? Uh, no, I would hold it. I, would be, I wouldn't be afraid of. I would yeah. hold it. Even if it got down below 203.88. No, no, I, I'm not saying I'm not saying this to to sell it now. But but would you not use that that new dot that appeared today as your stop point? Two hundred three eighty eight. The bottom one. The bottom. Yes. Uh, the, yes. No. 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 Uh, no. Uh, uh, well, I I never thought about it. I mean, um, usually when it hit the bottom dot and the dot comes down, from there on it goes up. You, you can look at any at any dot at any time that the candle hits that upper dot. Yeah. The dot comes down. It never ever failed. It never failed. It minimum it goes up a couple of days. It may hover after that, like like uh, Chipotle. If you look at it, CMG. Uh, it, it hit uh, three days ago. Yes. Uh, the, the, the number was 448.69, which I right. bought it. It went up. Today, it's just uh, it's just hovering there. It, it, it that maybe that is the top today, and from tomorrow it starts to roll down. But sure, sure. you make you you make at two days, uh, you make money out of that dot, and after that, I don't know what will happen. Uh, so 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 your so your time period is just really a couple days on a trade, but that's not going to be the case with, with Visa, though, right? In the case of Visa, you've got some fundamental reasons to want to go ahead and stay in that trade. Yes, that is true, because Visa is on, uh, on the, you see, all these moving averages at the bottom. He's above the 2200, is above the 2200 simple moving average and 200 exponential. But uh, Chipotle is not like that. Chipotle is below, if you look at the daily chart, sure. it, it's, it's still the short, there are tons of shorts in there. So right. whenever that candle hits that dot, it's temporary. It goes up two, three days, and then it goes flat higher. And from there, when it rolls down, you short it big time. You yeah. short it big time. But uh, Visa MasterCard is not like that. The reason that it came down and it now is going up, because it's consolidating. It's not trying to correct itself. But once it corrects and starts to go up, it's, it's going to go up at least a couple of weeks. At yeah. least At least 10 days. So uh, th this is my, th th this was my observation for all these years of trading. And I followed that very cautiously, very carefully, uh, and, uh, 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 and uh, that's how it is, unfortunately. Uh, th this is how I uh, No, it's great. It's not unfortunate. Look, uh, we, we, we love the fact that, that uh, you, you, you call in, that you're sharing this uh, with listeners across the world out here. Yes, uh, yeah. Because we all, look, we, we all have one goal in mind. You know, the, the nice thing about this uh, family that we have created here, and we all have to have each other's backs, is to, yes, is to help each of us. You know, it is us against them, whoever the them is, right? Um, yes, and sir. so we're, we're, we're really all uh, here trying to assist each other in being able to make money. So your observations over your years of trading, I mean, they're, that, it's, it's great, and it's a set of tools that, you know, um, that we don't really look at uh, often or often enough here at TFNN. So, um, so you are our parabolic SAR expert. And, uh, and and we just ask that you call in uh, and keep us updated on this, especially if we've missed something. 
Can you do that for me? Oh, absolutely. Oh, perfect. Uh, please, you don't have to do that at all, but you can do paper trade. Um, you can write these numbers down, and whenever it hits there, uh, you'll see that it works. It really works. And uh, if it, you like it, you follow that. If you don't like it, you just throw it in the trash. No, yeah. no, no. You know what? Look, I, I, I love the work of uh, I love the work of, of Wells Wilder. I mean, one of one of the uh, tools that he utilizes and teaches the relative strength uh, index out here. You know, I've made a fortune off of taking the tool, finding a different way to uh, use it, looking for what I think he had overlooked at that stage of the game when he developed it. And I cannot live without it. In fact, it's the one tool right now that says, hey, we've got to be cautious here about the NQ because it's actually given us a, a nice little topping signal out there. So, Garo, thanks so much for calling in. We really appreciate it, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you again soon. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Have a you nice bet. day. Bye-bye. You bet. That was Garo in California. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video tiger tv exclusively at tfnn.com this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com <laughs> Welcome back, uh, folks. Um, so, you know, we were speaking with Garo about the uh, parabolic SAR. And as I was looking at stock chart patterns, looking for some signals out here, as I mentioned when we opened up the show, the one that is giving me the most pause as we speak at this stage here, we'll try to put this together, is the 120-minute time frame chart for the NQ. Now, in the case of the NQ, as we take a look at this out here, 
There are two patterns that form, uh, and this took place at 12 noon. Now, if we take a look at the bottom, again, that I was mentioning earlier, the bottom that formed out here on uh, Friday, this candle right here, in fact, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave leave some of the stuff stuff that's on here. But I'm at the point. I'm at the price. I'm at the candle session from 10 o'clock in the morning. This just happens to be so. 10 o'clock in the morning. What we can see here: prices moving lower, doing it with less relative energy. Okay, less weakness out here. Uh, again, a tool uh, derived from uh, derived from uh, Wells Wilder. I use it differently than the way that he teaches it in his books out there. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that his way isn't the uh, right way. I just simply have found a better way to utilize the tool. Now, when this candle occurred out here, see that? Well, she could see that it's a little doji uh, style of candle out here. See, just really just one tick for the most part to the upside is how it finished. Well, the prior bar, we can see that both the low and the high were exceeded. That's called a key reversal session. Mm, and that's important. Key reversal session, way different than an outside bar. We want to be paying attention to key reversal sessions out here. They are important. Now, they're important. That doesn't mean that they don't fail, but it does allow us to do uh, one thing, which is where is it that we're going to set our stop? So it gives us great money management tools. Because if in fact, this case, in this case here, if the low failed to hold the support, it was really telling you that that cavalry was just a weak line of uh, defense out here. Well, from that low to where we are at right now, well, that actually took place at 12 noon, we have another key reversal session that occurred. Now, it occurred at the same time that we got up to wave number seven. That's wave number seven off of that low, off of that other key reversal. It is oftentimes at the seventh wave. Not just at a baseball game do you do a seventh inning stretch, but here inside the market, it too does a seventh inning stretch. And you can see the price was moving higher, do it on less relative strength. Not only was it a key reversal session, it also happened to be a bull reversal candle referred to as a uh, bear sash now it's also a bearish engulfing candle because of the way that uh, futures contracts uh, work uh, you know you've got to give it just a smidgen of uh, room out here it doesn't really technically qualify as a uh, bearish engulfing candle if you were going to go read the uh, book inside Steve Neeson's work but 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 the reality is he would tell you just as I do that that in fact is also a uh, bear does it really matter no both candles are are bearish now we also happen to have important tools that help us identify these hidden levels of support and resistance. That happens to be the bottom of its TAS daily box. That uh, looks like it's priced at 43.74. So in order for this pattern to really get bearish on us or tell us that we're going to see more of a retracement here, we need to see a close below support. Now, notice that that point of control, that is the blue dashed line out here, it is closer to the bottom of that box. What does that tell you and I? That tells us that this should be a strong level of support. You'll also see Stevie's black line out there, and that is a very important line to also hold the support, coincidentally or incoincidentally, which is not a word out there, not that I know of, uh, but uh, neither ver neither here nor there. Brain fart number two, I'm going to go ahead and use it. That is another area of support out here. So breaking below both of those would be, I don't know if I want to, it would, would, would signal that being short inside the indice that took us down is now the message. Likewise, taking out the high. Uh, during the next couple of hours. Well, I can't say that. I don't know what the candle session is going to look like at 2 p.m. At this stage here, I'm assuming we're not going to take out the current high. So if we do take it out between 2 and 4, or between uh, 4 and 5.15, or between 6 and 8, or whatever the time frame it is, then it tells you a very strong level of resistance failed out there as well. And now if we come over and we take a look at Garo's parabolic SAR, well, guess what? Just as a failed level of resistance, okay, uh, that we, we looked at at the high of the previous candle, you'll see that there's a blue dot that formed. That's right now at 44.03. As Garo said, in the next two-hour session, that dot is going to change out here as it puts together the mathematics of this tool. But if you were to see the NQ get above that level, as he said, that's telling you to go ahead and go long out here. Um, at this stage, prices come down to, on the parabolic SAR level, it's really come down to uh, support. I when I've looked at the tool, which I have, like to see a close below or a close above the actual session out there. But that doesn't guarantee any kind of success. But we can see the price here on our parabolic SAR has actually come down to a level of support. So that's using all of the tools that all the great traders out there share with us. Let's go see if uh, Jim and Oldsmar, who wants to take a look at the IBB, has another tool that he can share with us as far as what the IBB is doing. Jim, how are you doing today? 
Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing very well. Thanks so much for asking. And uh, tell us what you're doing with the IBB and how we can help. Well, I was hoping for a pullback this afternoon to the uh, 258.82 to 259.68 area. And I'm just wondering if you think that's uh, going to have a chance of getting down there. Well, um, so if we take a look at what the IBB specifically is doing right now, it's trading out at a price point of 261. The volume on today's session, 519,000 shares. The last time that there was a swing point that was formed was just a few days ago, May the 6th, and there was 2.2 million shares. So the IBB, which has been thrashed and trashed as part of the NASDAQ composite, one of its sectors out of the biotech sector, um, is pulling back with what it it appears to be light volume. Now, in order for that to occur, this has to get to the 259.33 number. Was that one of the numbers? I didn't write them down when you when you mentioned them. Is that one of the numbers you uh, were looking? 259.68 was what I had. But that's, oh, yeah, okay. That's close. <laughs> okay. So what I would say, since you're looking at two 259.68, I would say the number you really want to get a rejection on and a pull back to is 259.33. Now, what that means to me, Jim, is that you would see the IBB pull back to that level test it and reject it. And by reject it, that means it just needs to close back above 259.33 and do with less than 2.2 million shares, which is what it would do today. If that were to occur, then that would give you a, a signal uh, that you're looking for, which says that you could go ahead and take this as a long trade. Now, what is it that you've got targeted to the upside? What are you gunning for inside the IBB? Uh, I was looking at possibly like a longer term trade uh, because I, I feel like it's been beaten up so bad for so long that uh, there's, it's been showing some signs of strength and I thought perhaps it would get back up into the uh, uh, 270 or 275 area. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the sign of strength, I think the sign of strength that uh, Jim is taking a look at, folks, occurred on April the 6th, um, which is when it moved above a small level of uh, consolidation area and did it with volume of about 6 million shares out there. And we can say, you know, that it's been now the other level. So if this equity, if IBB, because you're looking at it for a longer term standpoint, let's say, Jim, that it closes inside 259.33, then that says you want to wait for a test of the swing point from March 17th, which could be a high of that swing point, the high of the swing point, 250.45, 250.45 or the low of that swing point, 241.85. So that I don't make the same mistake twice in the same day. Can you hold through this break? Sure. Okay. <laughs> We'll go back to uh, Jim in Oldsmar. We'll finish looking at the IBB, the NASDAQ Biotech Index Fund. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
Quest has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's off 150. S&P is down 12. NASDAQ composites off 25 points. We're going back out to uh, Jim and Oldsmar, and we're taking a look at the IBB. Now, during the break, uh, Jim, I went ahead and took a look at a couple of different things. But let's go back to, to really my last um, statement, which is... Um, that uh, this thing had a, has a swing point that you're first looking at, which was from May the 6th. And there's 2.2 million shares there. And what we know today is that it's pulling back on light volume. Whether it's light volume or not, if it were to close inside that swing point, that swing point, again, being anything, above, anything below 256.52, then you have to wait for this to at least test the bottom. And that being the case, um, that then takes us to the swing point that's all the way back here on March 17th, which has got 2.8 million shares. And you really need to wait for that to be tested. Now, I drew in a nice little rising price channel that is inside the IBB. You know, the angle here, it's not a substantial angle, but you're also looking for that area to hold as a support, which if it can do that, then it says that it moves to the upside. And if for any reason, Jim, not today, but, you know, tomorrow or the next day, volume comes out of the IBB and you get more than 2.2 million shares as you're moving below that May 6th, then you don't want to get anywhere near this because what that would do is that would go ahead and that would give you a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside out here. And the price projection on that would uh, be a doozy. It would be, to say, 227, 217, maybe 204 out there. So volume is going to be key on this, uh, probably holding that little rising price channel uh, is also going to be uh, key for you to be paying attention to as uh, well out there. So those are the things that I see inside of the IBB. Uh, what say you? What, what other what, what questions have I now posed in your mind, if any? <laughs> That's great. Uh, I, I appreciate your input. I, I agree with you that it's, uh, it's kind of risky. Uh, I just was looking at the, where it had a, a drop base rally at the, uh, about the 258, 259 area, and I, I figured there would be some demand in that area, and I thought about perhaps... Uh, no, you, no, no question, and I, and I certainly see what you're looking at. Now, what the IBB also did, and it's, and it's a reason why I'm a little bit concerned about the NQ. So the NQ is the indice that led things down. If the NQ, which has given us a bit of a topping signal on the two-hour chart right now, so we have to be very cautious about that. Um, and, uh, and and so has the IBB, in essence. Now, the IBB topping signal uh, came in when it made that nice seventh wave move out here on the trading day of April 23rd. Um, so, but volume, you know, today is, it's pulling back nicely out here. Um, but that doesn't mean that things can't get out of control 
you know, at some point in time out here. So you just have to be, I don't think that the IBB will be able to take off to the upside if the NQ is in fact making its second turn to the downside out here. Um, and we just need to see how these important levels of support inside the NQ, how they hold here over the course of the next couple of hours before before we really know anything. So. You know, that's that's my take at this stage out here. But if, if, uh, if in the NQ, the markets really should go up into next week on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, that's what the cycle pattern would say out here. That doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen. But um, but I, I, you're also looking at this as being a longer term trade. And, right. you know, we, we are going into that unfavorable seasonal cycle which says that things can get uh, chop in and roll into the downside anytime between next Tuesday. And uh, unfortunately, it's really uh, July till about July 15th. That's your window of a pretty stormy level. Once we get past July 15th, the market should head down almost no matter what. So, um, yeah. you know, so that uh, and that's good because that provides us with nice short opportunities as well as a nice buy in the middle of October. So that's my take on things as we speak right now. Well, I really appreciate it. I'll probably end up just watching this thing for a while and, and testing some of my ideas out. Watch, just watching, not buying. <laughs> well, but hey, give, give, us, give us a call. Yeah, give us a call if you've got any other questions. Happy to hear from you. Happy to help okay, you Okay, good to talk to you. Thank you very All much. Right. You bet. That Bye. was Jim in Oldsmar, and that was uh, over analysis of the IBB. But we've got to take a look at both sides of the uh, trade, right? And you got to get the got to get the direction of the indice correct as well. It doesn't mean that stocks aren't going to move up in a down market because we know that they will out here. But you like to have really the wind at your back out here. Now, why else is it that we are concerned? Well, yesterday, one of the things that you and I took a look at, we took a look at the Dow and we talked about how the Dow was the only advanced decline oscillator that had gotten above zero, closed above zero. Of course, towards the end of the show, I shared with you a uh, technique that uh, most of you and you guys, e uh, yeah, OB royalties. Now, the royalty could be just the next time you pass by somebody and they need some help, just help them out. That would be the royalty. Okay, I don't care if it's a dollar or 50 cents or it's $100 or 1000 or whatever it is. Just help somebody out. Just say, okay, because Stevie shared with me a technique that, that, that nobody has ever shared with me. People have been looking at stock charts for thousands of years, haven't really even noticed that. And I have a request out here to say, would I just really review what that is? Well, I will, but let's take a look at this first thing. One of the things that we talked about yesterday was if we get a close above the zero line, which we did inside the Dow, if in fact we see a close back below it today, that's a signal that the bulls never really had control of the market. That in fact, it was the bears. It was, uh, you know, what you call a bait and switch or whatever whatever you want to call it out there. And that is what we are seeing as we speak right now. So on top of the NQ two-hour chart, the daily chart for the Dow is giving us that same kind of message out here. Now, can it bust out the lows? I don't know. Uh, it can if it certainly has volume picking up to the downside. We'll go check in on the ETF structures out here. But if we take a look at the Dow, just to uh, give you the point, and really today is the exact opposite. Uh, really, so I get to two days in a row, back to back, show you a, a technique out here that is for the ages. And that is this. When you see a Dow candle open up, and we're going to take a look at yesterday's session first. Uh, and this is what I did. We're just about this time, or maybe it was earlier. I said to all the listeners out there, look, if you are trying to short this market, I have basically one piece of advice for you. And that was don't. And I don't usually give that kind of advice with that type of conviction. But there was nothing but conviction in my voice. And why did I say that? I said that because when you have candle sessions like yesterday, where you open at the low, and by 12 noon, you, you get to see this usually by 12 noon, if the market has just simply continued to move higher, the market will close at or near its session highs. And even though you've got all kinds of people out there looking to find ways to uh, short it, uh, you know, especially after the little bit of a move that we've had to the downside out here, I don't want anybody getting run over by a freight train. And what we did was we said, look, just go back and prove this to yourself. Go look at the S&P, go look at the Dow, go take a look at candles where, the, where you open at the low, you never see any kind of push lower intraday out there. So you don't even have a smidgen of a move lower out here. And it is telling you, do not try to short that day. Jump on the long side. 
you know, back up the truck, whatever it is you need to do. And we just went back to the uh, time period here of February 12th. We looked at those candles. You know, February 12th happened to be a day where did the market close? At or near its session high. How about the next day? At or near its session high. How about the next day? At or near its session high. How about the next candle that shows up? February 22nd. At or near its session high. The next candle that showed up. March the 1st with that pattern. At or near its session high. Folks, we did this all day yesterday. And guess what? The market every time. 100% of the time. Well, now take a look at what the market's done today. It opened at or near its session high. Where is it going to finish today? At or near its session low. So don't really look to be trying to buy this market today. Tonight may be a different story, but right now it's not. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, don't miss out on the Market Safe Commodity Solutions CD from EverBank. This is the second running of their popular five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD, which gives you exposure to eight equally weighted commodities, including WTI crude oil, gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, corn, and sugar. With annual pricing caps of 70% per component, you could earn up to 70% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this indexed CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The May 19th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member. FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Join David Dwight as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Dow's off 148. S&P is down 11. A question coming in here from uh, James. James wants to take a look at uh, Arctic Cat. A-C-A-T is the uh, ticker symbol out here. If we take a look at Arctic Cat, let's go see what it is doing. The question is, uh, how does this look for a short? 
So as we take a look at Arctic Cat, this thing has a, a nice uh, little piercing bullish reversal candle, but it's a high volume low out here. So I'm assuming that uh, this is what James is looking at. So his target would be the January 28th swing point. 1.7 million shares is what uh, is, is uh, down there. That price range is anywhere from 890 to 1145. This is trading at 1475. The first thing that I would say to James or anyone is I don't like uh, trade. I don't like shorting a stock that's trading at uh, 14 bucks. Um, at twenty dollars, in my opinion, has got to be your minimum price point. At, at fourteen bucks, in order to make uh, really good money, this thing's got to go out of business, right? Uh, there's too much potential to the upside, uh, buyouts, anything along those lines. Not that a two hundred dollars stock is couldn't be bought out, you know, more certainly can. But you have more downside potential than you do inside a fourteen dollars stock. So that's just a philosophical. Let's try to answer the question: How does this look for a, a short? Well, um, we can see that as it came off the bottom here, when it made that high on the trading day of March tenth, what wave count did it make to the upside? Yeah, you you guessed it. You know, wave number seven. That's why we pay attention to. It. It's why we're concerned about the NQ on the two-hour time frame chart as we speak. So you can see that out there. Now we've just kind of been consolidating and moving sideways. Uh, right now what we know is we've got this nice little hidden level of support out here. And that hidden level of support being a brand new daily box that uh, formed out here, Taz Taz box and this little box out here that formed a couple days ago was in the hands of the bears right the uh, bias out here was for the uh, bears to the downside point of control closer to the top of the box right. Uh, today's candle, depending on how it finishes, could be a hammer candle. It would have to finish up towards the uh, price of 1483. But I, I would really need to see what happens for the next couple hours here. But we know that price has moved down there with volume today of only 76,000 shares. So this is not exactly the most liquid uh, of stocks out here. Yesterday was 190, 161,000 shares. So it's pulling back with light volume. And you'd like to see, you know, this be able to break through a prior swing with volume. So today it looks like it doesn't really have the energy necessarily to uh, do that out here um, you know if price is going to continue lower you've got to look for this swing point to be your target and that is January 28th and maybe all you maybe you'll get up to about 1145 out of it you're trading at 1475 I say you need to see this thing close below 1455 and then uh, look for this to uh, find support somewhere around 1108 to that uh, level on January 28th, uh, 28th, maybe about $11.45 out there. So that is for James. That is Arctic Cat. I think I've covered everything, but if I haven't, my apology, because I'm just trying to grab emails off of my uh, phone out here, and I may have missed a few. So what are we going to uh, focus on here in the next minute? Um, let's go take a look at volume. Let's try to get a feel for what's going on, especially inside the diamonds right now. Let's go see what kind of volume we've got here. So yesterday, you know, the uh, diamonds, uh, today's candle session, by the way, inside of the diamonds is a, uh, it's an inside bar that says that the prior trend continues. That is its meaning out here. Let's go see volume wise. Yesterday, you moved higher with 2.8 million shares. Right now, today, you're down with 1.7. You've got uh, two hours left in the trading session. So four divided by that's about 400,000 about 800 about 2.4 so so it's actually pulling back with just a little bit lighter volume it looks like than it did uh, yesterday out here ah, you know it's a little bit of a toss-up um, a little bit of toss-up I'll tell you what our polar bear David White He's going to answer the question, what should you do next? So, folks, have a, a wonderful Wednesday. I'll look forward to seeing you on Terrific Thursday. Stay tuned. After David, you've got the Tom O'Brien Show from 3 to 5. Take care, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, active trading information that will 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.